And when a messenger from Allah came to them confirming that which was with them, a party of those who had been given the scripture threw the scripture of Allah behind their backs as if they did not know what it contained. Indeed, we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, as we revealed to Noah and the prophets after him, and we reveal to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, the descendants, Jesus, Job, Jonah, Aaron, and Solomon, and through David we gave the book of Psalms. And we gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all of them we guided, and Noah we guided before, and among his descendants, David and Solomon and Job and Joseph and Moses and Aaron. Thus do we reward the doers of good. And mention David and Solomon when they judged concerning the field, when the sheep of a people overran it at night and we were witness to their judgment. And we gave understanding of the case to Solomon and to each of them we gave judgment and knowledge. And we subjected the mountains to exalt us along with David and also the birds, and we were doing that. To Solomon we subjected the wind, blowing forcefully, proceeding by his command toward the land which we had blessed, and we are ever, of all things, knowing. And we had certainly given to David and Solomon knowledge, and they said, Praise is due to Allah, who has favored us over many of his believing servants. And Solomon inherited David. He said, O people, we have been taught the language of birds, and we have been given from all things. Indeed, this is evident bounty. And gathered for Solomon were his soldiers of the jinn, and men, and birds, and they were marching in rows. Until, when they came upon the valley of the ants, an ant said, O ants, Enter your dwellings, that you not be crushed by Solomon and his soldiers, while they perceive not. So Solomon smiled, amused at her speech, and said, My Lord, enable me to be grateful for your favor, which you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents, and to do righteousness of which you approve. And admit me, by your mercy, into the ranks of your righteous servants. He took attendance of the birds, and said, Why do I not see the hoopoe, or is he among the absent? I will surely punish him with a severe punishment, or slaughter him unless he brings me clear authorization. But the hoopoe stayed not long, and said, I have encompassed in knowledge that which you have not encompassed, and I have come to you from Sheba with certain news. Indeed, I found there a woman ruling them, and she has been given of all things, and she has a great throne. I found her and her people prostrating to the sun instead of Allah, and Satan has made their deeds pleasing to them, and averted them from his way, so they are not guided. And so they do not prostrate to Allah, who brings forth what is hidden within the heavens and the earth, and knows what you conceal and what you declare. Allah, there is no deity except him, Lord of the great throne. Solomon said, We will see whether you were truthful or were of the liars. Take this letter of mine and deliver it to them. Then leave them and see what answer they will return. She said, O eminent ones, indeed, to me has been delivered a noble letter. Indeed, it is from Solomon, and indeed it reads, In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, be not haughty with me, but come to me in submission as Muslims. She said, O eminent ones, advise me in my affair. I would not decide a matter until you witness for me. They said, We are men of strength and of great military might. But the command is yours, so see what you will command. 
She said, Indeed, kings, when they enter a city, they ruin it and render the honored of its people humbled, and thus do they do. But indeed, I will send to them a gift and see with what reply the messengers will return. So when they came to Solomon, he said, Do you provide me with wealth? But what Allah has given me is better than what he has given you. Rather, it is you who rejoice in your gift. Return to them, for we will surely come to them with soldiers that they will be powerless to encounter, and we will surely expel them therefrom in humiliation, and they will be debased. Solomon said, O assembly of jinn, which of you will bring me her throne before they come to me in submission? A powerful one from among the jinn said, I will bring it to you before you rise from your place, and indeed, I am for this task strong and trustworthy. Said one who had knowledge from the scripture, I will bring it to you before your glance returns to you. And when Solomon saw it placed before him, he said, This is from the favor of my Lord to test me whether I will be grateful or ungrateful. And whoever is grateful, his gratitude is only for the benefit of himself. And whoever is ungrateful, then indeed my Lord is free of need and generous. He said, Disguise for her her throne. We will see whether she will be guided to truth or will be of those who is not guided. They made for him what he willed of elevated chambers, statues, bowls like reservoirs, and stationary kettles. We said, Work, O family of David, in gratitude, and few of my servants are grateful. And when we decreed for Solomon death, nothing indicated to the jinn his death except a creature of the earth eating his staff. But when he fell, it became clear to the jinn that if they had known the unseen, they would not have remained in humiliating punishment. There was for the tribe of Sabah in their dwelling place a sign, two fields of gardens on the right and on the left. They were told, Eat from the provisions of your Lord and be grateful to him. A good land have you and a forgiving Lord. But they turned away refusing, so we sent upon them the flood of the dam, and we replaced their two fields of gardens with gardens of bitter fruit, tamarisks, and something of sparse loat trees. <laughs>